Hello YouTube, this is Muhammad's Lab here, and today I am doing a redstone tutorial on how to make a combination lock, which is right here. Now, this is a redstone combination lock, and let me show you how it works first. So, pretty much you have to push these levers in this right order down, and it should turn on this these lights over there see there we go now you're probably wondering this could take almost hours to make or maybe it's gonna be too hard to make well just to show you the redstone circuitry behind this it should be a little bit shocking it's all this I'm not kidding this is actually the component of the whole um, of the whole combination lock this tiny little component and yeah this is pretty much how the combination lock is made or how well this is pretty much the redstone circuitry behind the combination lock well right now I'm going to be showing you how to make it by the way this is usually made for beginners so probably if you're a beginner or a novice who is just starting redstone circuitry you might be able to make this now let's make all of this into small and in, let's break down all of this so this is one layer of that big combination lock now it follows the same aspects if all the four levers are up that means it's reset and you can start now basically behind this what you're trying to do your objective is that you're trying to turn off these redstone torches now if you complete that objective you can turn on the light sorry about that there we go now there is also these tricky uh... what was it called um, repeaters now these pretty much do the opposite and just in case if you type in the wrong combination these kick in as you can see it won't work now basically your main objective is to turn off the torches after your second objective objective is to turn off this whole line here then this is pretty much a vice versa switch now it basically converts power into two into um or vice versa. So that means if something's on here, that means this is gonna be off, as you can see here. So in reset position it this line is on. But when you activate it this line goes off, so that's why we need the vice versa switch. Now if you understand that, I'll just quickly review this one more time just to make sure you understand. If you your main objective is to turn off the torches as you can see here sorry about that and that which will turn off this line here and switch on the vice versa switch and turn on your mechanical device now if you understand that that means you understand what this is well if you think you don't this is basically that is basically one layer and same thing here so basically this whole combination lock is made of three layers which is con is connected so this is basically the line as you can see over there and this is the vice versa switch and the output which is connected to fo the four lights that's pretty much about it on how to make this now if you want if you want to challenge yourselves and if you understand that and you want to challenge yourself so just to test your skills now this is a AND gate now the AND gate is pretty much three blocks across with some redstone in the middle and two redstone torches on the top left and right and one on the side middle now basically the objective of this is when you have two power sources hold on when you have two power sources which turning off these two lights 
will turn on this one light. Now, as you can see here, if I put only one power source, it won't turn on the light. As you can see here, if we put two power sources, it will turn on the light. Now, this, I'm not going to fully, well, that will pretty much help you. By the way, don't take everything I say 100% true. Now, if we go back here, this is basically the combination lock, but it, the same concept of the combination lock, but even harder. Now, this is a big combination, and I had to turn it on just to demonstrate. As you can see, it's right now on. Wrong combination, turns off. And same con concept in the back. So thank you for watching, and this is Muhammad's Lab here, and please subscribe if you found this video pretty helpful and appreciation, and appreciated. And a like will also be appreciated if you have that one second to spare. Thank you, and bye.